Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Redeck Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside my dear old friend. My name is John, and I'm very excited to see you again. Right? Holy crud. It's been a minute, and his last name is Humphrey. Humphrey. I wanted him to sing the whole thing, but he didn't, but it's okay. I'll sing the rest of all this interaction. Oh, Every wow. reaction will be some. Wow. We are watching Mean, mean Girls, Girls 2024. Yeah. I didn't know that it was a musical until he just told me. That's right. It's time to see what Broadway had to say about the movie and now what the new movie has to say about Broadway. That's, That's right. right. We are so into it. So don't forget to leave a like. You got to get in there. Tell us all the cool comments. Tell us how cool we are. Uh, tell us how cool our t-shirts are Ooh. from RejectNationShop.com, you yeah, guys. Buddy. And also don't forget to ring the bell. Ring, ring the, the bell. bell. Also, thanks to Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. We appreciate you so much. And if you're not super sexy, it's because you haven't joined Patreon yet. That's why you're not super sexy. If you were thinking, we all know that you're already sexy. Like, of we course. get it. We've seen you. We love you. You're, all, you're sexy. all sexy. But to be super sexy, we got to get on the Patreon. You, you got to go get on it. Glenn Coco to the Patreon. You got to get on it. Then you can watch exactly the whole thing, the whole Mean Girls with me and John. Also, John and Greg offer exclusive highlights and watch alongs over there on the Patreon. Get with it if you know us. Good for, Good you. for you. Do you have anything to say before we watch this, John? I mean, I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready, too. I miss musicals being a thing, man, right? in Hollywood. Let's go. go. Bring them back. back. Okay, we're ready. We're going to watch Mean Girls. And I dropped my phone. Oh. Yep. Okay, yep. there we go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my That's life. Every time I try to record a reel. It's a cautionary tale. Ooh. Hell yeah, I'm loving this. Damn. <laughs> no one died. No, we wouldn't. Foxy. Love this. this is a Get it. Yeah. Oh, and the transition cool. into the full screen frame. Nice. And now we're that in John Favreau's cool. Lion King. Now are we in Africa? <laughs> I think I would spend every second I have right where my story began. Ooh. I'd be happy here every day, month, year of my life. But now I'm wishing for whatever comes after goodbye. Huh. This is where home will be. What is her name? I really like her, and I can't think of it either. She's in them Spider-Man flicks. Yeah. I've been thinking about what you said. Oh, hey. Frustrated by oh. my decision. And Got a cut. A little stuck here. Oh, Pam. Pam. Pam, Pam. Maybe I've been a little selfish, putting my research ahead of your social and emotional development. I called the people from Northwestern back. I took the job. Oh, snap. But they need me to start on September 9th. I don't want to live in blood. My <laughs> They have not cut yet, and I love it. They are going with these long takes. I just love, one cut I to Jenna Fisher, but take. yeah. There's probably hidden cuts, like maybe that right there, but still, I'm I'm on board. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice transition. All right. Cool. And it's a cool way to like really make it feel like a movie again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, off the stage production. God, that's right. The whole original movie is going to be coming back to me during this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. I wish people would just dance around me, man. Right? Oh. Oh, oh, and the bars went away, too. Here we go. I'm enjoying it. Ooh, <laughs> nice slap title. Nice. Ah, ha, ha. good transition. Yeah. Hope you all had a good summer. Mine was pretty good. Worked in my brother-in-law's golf pro shop. I know this voice. Wake up, Ted. <laughs> yes, Tim Meadows. Uh -huh. She's back. She just moved here from Kentucky. Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> Her name is Caddy. It's Katie. 
Katie Heron. My apologies. I will commit that to memory. Jay Quellen. <laughs> KD, like the Canadian songstress KD Lang, and Heron, like the illegal street drug. Uh, Heron. <laughs> <laughs> I see you also have you for AP Calculus. You must have had excellent teachers at your old school. Oh, I was homeschooled. Homeschooled? Oh, that's a fun way to take jobs from my union. Oh, ho, 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 ho. My name is Mr. Rep, and I take no... Crap! Yeah. Got it! Excellent. A plus. Correct answer was crap. It was crap, I got it. You're among Gen Alpha or Z or whatever now, man. <laughs> Find a seat. I don't want you to think of me as just any other teacher. I'm just on the <laughs> ground. Look at his face. He's like, girl, what are you what doing? What are you doing? She has a great voice. Je m'appelle Katie. Incorrect. Oh. You have to pick a French name. All the French people I know just call me Katie. Just say Marie. Oh. Marie. 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 Janice. Chanel. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Celine Dion. <laughs> yes. Beyonce. What? We. Oui. Mais non. Uh, Are they Lizzie Kaplan and, and uh, what's his name? No. Oh, good question. This fall, I... we'll be getting into the <gasps> oh! He's in this? On abstinence, of course, then followed by in the spring, condoms and choking. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to urinate. First thing you need to do is ask permission. But the second thing you'll need is this lavatory pass that is shaped like a sperm whale. Oh, pfft. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. May I have the lavatory pass? No, you may not. You may go sit back down. You can go at lunch. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's jump into this. This won't be awkward at all, I swear to God. Uh, this is great. I always great. forget he's buds with Tina Fey. <laughs> he's funny. Like, I love when John Hamm does comedy. He's so great. I'm excited for his Tina Fey loves speech. him. I feel like they work together a lot. Oh, yeah. So it's SNL days, man. Yeah, man. Aww. Not going to lie, these school lunches look really good, but I do feel bad that people are shutting her out. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really hungry. <laughs> Eating in the bathroom, though? Couldn't do it. It's feces in the air, you guys. <laughs> Taste is about smell. <laughs> are you okay in there? We're concerned you're either doing drugs or having a toilet baby. <laughs> a toilet baby. Hi, I'm Janice. And Jim Appel's <laughs> Sasha Fears. <laughs> <laughs> we will help you, Caddy. Caddy. It's Katie. I'm going to call you Caddy. Get out of the toilet. Okay. Hey. Find your click and commit to it. You have your jocks. That's my table. <laughs> He's doing the salt guy, too. You know what might be cute for her? What, grave grubbers? No, it's going to theater mess. That's probably close to mine. And who's at that table? Uh -oh. oh. No, no, no. Oh. We call them plastics because they're shiny, fake, and hard. The plastics, that's right. That's Gretchen Wieners. She knows everything about everybody. That's why her hair is so big. It's a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> full of fetch. She's the dumbest person you'll ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. Oh, oh, oh no. Could I just no, thank you. you guys? I actually don't know. We've never been asked that question before. Could she? <laughs> we are very exclusive. <laughs> but I think we can make an exception. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> What happened to the power? Don't look her in the eye. <laughs> 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 my name is Regina Joy. Oh, hey. oh my god. <laughs> and I am a master. Oh, I love this. Show sure enough. Love me stand and stare. Oh, oh my. hey girl. It's his high school. Um hi. <laughs> Love the chorus behind yeah. her, too. I don't care cool. That reminds you of Boz wow. Warman shot. Wow. That is a long stretch zoom. You. Yeah, you. Come here. Whoa. I'm really enjoying the filmmaking. Me, too. I was a little worried by that opening green screen, but I'm, I'm digging this. <laughs> I just moved here from Kenya. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you look really pretty. <gasps> <laughs> so you agree? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I, I don't know. You're an international student. That is so fetch. What is fetch? There we go. I can guess any girl's bra size. All you gotta do is jump one time. Ew, do me. Uh, you do not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then skis on the new girl right in front of me. Do you want to have sex with him? Oh. 
No, thank you. <laughs> okay, then it's settled. Jason, no one thinks you're funny, okay? And this thing you're doing where you lower your voice when you talk is making people really sad. Oh, damn. I would like Jason Weems to go back to his normal speaking voice. Please raise your hand. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, boy. You're really going to get noticed around here. We should help you. Oh, no. Um, can you give us some privacy for a sec? Oh. Conference. Okay. I'm also fascinated. <laughs> fascinated <laughs> to Push see. Up. So, we never really do this. <laughs> But oh. you're invited to eat lunch with us for the rest of the week. That's okay. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. I've got it on. Hopefully, this is on a Wednesday. You should have lunch with them and then report back and tell us every stupid, moronic thing they said. Spy on them. No. Look at us. Would we ever ask you to do something bad? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I love them. Yeah. Do you have a pink shirt I can borrow? Yes. What shade? <laughs> oh, what shade? What shade? I love him. <laughs> Plus one, the function is what we're taking the limit of. I don't expect you to know how to do this. Caddy knows. The limit equals three. That's right. Let's try another one. Get it, girl. Wow. <gasps> Are you trying to make a dress? Um, good, I love him. Oh, I I'm not trying to. It's just uh, happening. <laughs> oh. He's from the summer I turned pretty. That's the show. And oh, I love him it? in that show, too. Oh, hi. He's so dreamy. Oh. I, <gasps> I fell in love. This piece, core guy. <laughs> ha. Oh. True. Smart with math, but stupid with love. I didn't get it. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't get it till now. That's 85% of the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how the light comes on him and he's like swishing his Whoa. hair. <laughs> and thank you, Matt, because now you brought me this cute boy. Oh. <gasps> Someone from TV, he's like that guy who gives out roses to those women. He looks like John Mayer. <laughs> and he's a foot away from me with swoopy hair and shiny eyes that I can swim in. He has I been in the room. If John Mayer was Joe Keery from Stranger <laughs> Things. <laughs> yeah. Smart with math, but stupid with love. I wanna get it. I didn't get it till now. Oh. Smart with math, but stupid with love. I didn't get it. I didn't get, get it, it till, till now. now. Whoa! Uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Great transitions in this movie. Yeah. I really enjoy this so far, man. Me too. You can't pick me up like this. It's embarrassing. Oh. You can't wear a tank top huh. two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So I guess you've chosen today. Mm -hmm. uh. Only wear sweats Take it down. and track pants on Fridays. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us. Wow. I wore sweatpants today. I'd have to go sit over there. But the art breaks. <laughs> They're the only they ones are? having fun. I, <laughs> I love them. Could I catch ham on my face? Have you seen any guys you think are cute yet? Uh-oh. Why is her face like that? <laughs> There's this one guy in my calculus class. Ooh, as a senior, who is it? Uh, Aaron Samuels. You can't no, like Aaron Samuels. No, that is bad, Regina's ex-boyfriend. Whoa, no. <laughs> bad, bad danger. I will never tell Regina what you said. I am very trustworthy. Liar! Oh. I've never told anyone. Oh, <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I'm Kevin Ganathra. I'm from your cog class. I'm also captain of the North Shore Mathletes. That's geometry. Ms. No, Nobody says we get twice as much funding for a girl on the team, so think about joining because we'd love to get jackets. Where do no, I? No, you cannot join Mathletes. That is like socially ruinous. Oh no. Why is he by our table? I can hear you, by the way. Can you hear me now? Good. Ugh. Anyways, I'll just take my card in case you change your mind. Kevin G. <laughs> he public has the blue figure. check mark by its name. Ugh. What are you doing after school today? I want to give you some shoes. Whoa. <laughs> I'm curious if they'll update the plastics, kind of like 21 yeah. Jump Street almost in a way, right. where it's like times have changed. I'm so confused right now. Maybe we can have a commensal relationship. What is that? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lions, they're the apex predator. But if you're a hyena, well, then you follow them around and you eat the carcasses that they leave behind. You work for Scar. You go over to her house today. I'm not joking. Be careful. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't be fooled by the pink. She is not playing dolls. She is stalking the halls for the thrill of the kill. Yes. Woo. Yum. The queen of beasts. Wow. What? Oh, the human centipede God. right there. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Base. Yeah, get it. Only with flash fire. Do not mess oh, hey. with her. 
She's the apex predator. Is he using his normal voice? Jason is crotch sitting Taylor Waddell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crotch sitting. Watering hole. See the girls who weren't nice. Had to scatter like mice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, oh, Jesus whoa. Christ. <laughs> oh boy. And you're in her pride. You have hitched a ride with the Apex Predator. Oh my. Whoa. Crotch sitting is a thing I was not aware of, y'all. Do you think she'll be mad if I like Aaron? Samuels, are you unwell? Samuels? Okay, okay. <laughs> are you unwell? <laughs> you got a death wish. She doesn't know you. <laughs> yes. She's the queen of beasts. Oh. Apex Predator with no doors. <laughs> oh yeah, she got the Jurassic Park. Get in, loser. Giving me clueless vibes right there. Yeah, good call. Right. Hey. Oh. Whoa. Hey, girl. What's up? Is that Busy Phillips? Is that her name? Yeah. Welcome. Kenya. Oh my god. Slay like no one's watching. That's Damn. what I do. Everybody's watching because you're gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, we're in Barbie land. Oh my god, I love this room, Literally you guys. Literally Barbie land. Dramatic. I don't want to be like them, but I do kind of like want that vibe. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> there still he got a is. Thing. Her first love. <gasps> Karen, come here. I'm going to fix your eyebrows. Can I still have two? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. God, my pores Ooh. are huge. My B.O. smells like crayons. Okay. I actually like the smell of crayons. It could be worse, yeah. I'm ugly, too. <laughs> oh, my God, I love her. <laughs> You're never going to believe what I found in your closet this morning. Why are you in my closet? Because I'm doing that Japanese organizing thing where you take a little nap in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Does it spark exhaustion? I found your burn book. Ooh. Oh, the burn no. book. I am not a regular mom. I'm at cool mom with six O's. Hashtag aging hotly. Hashtag get out. Whoa. Okay. Oh. You're so cool, mom. So cool. Cool, cool mom. hang out with you. Cool mom alert. <laughs> I remember this. It was the week they took all of our phones away. Oh, man. Trang fam is a grotsky little biatch. Aww. So true. I don't like the burn book. Janice Emi E.K. Pyroles. I forgot Woof. about that. Oh my God, she is yeah. so weird. She is? She's in my homeroom. Oh, well, watch out, because she's violent. Is she an apex predator? Yeah, Regina tried to be friends with her in middle school. Oh my God, she was obsessed with me. And then when I got my first boyfriend, Kyle, uh oh, she lit my backpack on fire. Feel like you deserved it? That's like a Damien. Oh yeah, he's almost too gay to function. Uh, I didn't mean that in a bad way. No, that's funny. Put that in there. <gasps> oh, it begins. No. No, 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 don't worry, Katie. We only write stuff about randos in here. Friends are like very deserving of respect. Oh. Go find the shoe. The shoes we're giving to Katie. Oh my God, you are literally being so annoying. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, sorry. This is an unhealthy relationship. So many unspoken things just happened. Are you okay? No. Totally. Regina's just joking. Uh. It's the music box I gave Regina that my abuelito gave me. Oh. Uh, Tell me what's wrong with me. Oh no. My body, face, my hair. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me like you care. When we both know you're cool. Oh. I could listen to you. Ouch. Like a fool all night. You got a bad sister. Mama call me beautiful. Ooh. Please don't ignore. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet and kind of absurd. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Hmm. Walk away, girl. They have this book. Starting to get feels. Where they write mean things about girls in our grade. Oh, oh, oh. What does it say about me? Uh oh. You're not in it. Those bitches. What is this? By the way, it's terrible. Oh, it's oh. a protein bar. bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. My mom used to give them to elderly people in Capito. Uh. <laughs> I can feel it working. <laughs> <laughs> Crush this up and put it in Regina's food. No, no, I will keep having lunch with them. That's it. Also, we feel bad we yelled at you about liking Aaron. Oh. Regina will never set foot in there. 
Oh my gosh. I love like how she's <laughs> great. Oh. oh my goodness. And that outfit yeah. with those pink heels. I can't. New shoes? Uh, yeah. Regina gave them to me. Didn't know you guys were friends. Uh oh. Changes his mind about you, girl. I like your jacket. Thanks. I made it. Why do you sew on top of your drawings? It's like the drawings are facts and threads are feelings. It's so cool. Oh, well, that's cool. You guys, I have the same jacket as her, the camo jacket. I'm going to wear it to the next review. Do it. Sew something cool on it. Yeah. Sew the bell onto it. <laughs> do you like gum? Sure. I don't have any. I was just... <laughs> do you like cheese? <laughs> Why did you say that? Maybe just try to have one successful interaction per day. I mean, uh, that's what I'm going for, man. <laughs> I like your shirt. Thanks. It smells like sausage from the last time I wore it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you successfully been a functioning human being even once? <laughs> On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. Oh. What day is it? It's October 3rd. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I said I was lost. I'm totally lost. Can you help me? But I wasn't lost. I know exactly what Ms. Norbert was talking about. The derivative of the natural log function. You should know that. You're so smart. Thanks, Aww. Dreamy. He was wrong. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah, I gotta be. <laughs> it's just my little calculus class secret. So it's h prime of x equals five. I don't get any of this. Oh my goodness. That's wrong, Kitty. Sure, it seems like you get it. Uh oh. Don't you start failing, girl. My friend Chris is uh, having a Halloween party. Would you want to come to that? Yes. Yes. Gruel. Gruel. And, great, and then I started to say cool. <laughs> Gruel. Gruel. If I could change the world, I'd make it Halloween. Me too. Same. <laughs> great. I wonder if these were users submitted, maybe. Some right? Of these. I want to be in Mean Girls. I should have made a TikTok. <laughs> Dang. Yes. <laughs> oh, Love it. Oh. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. <sighs> if you don't dress, that is shaming us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That. Traditionally, girls have to be witches or clowns, and we've worked really hard to progress past that. Oh, oh damn it. Biatch. Girl, no. And cure some sexy cancer. <laughs> sexy cancer. <laughs> That's not right, is it? <laughs> no, it's not a thing. I can sexy cure some cancer? <laughs> no. I can cure cancer. Ugh. Cancer doesn't exist. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Happy Halloween. Oh, oh, I want those. I, I wish I could do this. <laughs> Me too. I like your costume. Different from everyone else's. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to. Uh, <laughs> that was such a weird foreign loser. Oh. You want a drink? Thanks. Uh, do they have juice? Uh -huh. I can get you a 40. <laughs> I think you and Aaron would be a really cute couple. Really? Yeah, I just said so. Don't be thirsty. Mm -mm. You know, I could talk to him for you if you want. Mm -mm. Trust me. I know exactly how to play it. Don't go over there, you black swan. Ah, here she goes. The villain. In angel's clothing. Mm -hmm. I thought you were done talking to me when you started talking to Shane last summer. Oh, shut up. Okay, so you know that homeschool girl, Katie? Yeah, I invited her tonight. Ugh. Yeah, well, be careful. She has a huge crush on you. <laughs> really? Oh. Don't be gross. She's my friend, and she's, like, really inexperienced, and, um... Ouch. She's adorable. I didn't think this would be so hard for me. What? Yeah. To have, like, a lot of, like, unresolved trauma from how things ended with us. Weaseling her way back in. Give me a break. Regina. Jeez, dude. Regina. Leave me alone. Gee, why are you upset? Please. What do you mean, please? <laughs> Love these long shots. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a great transition. What? Oh, cool. Awesome. Who directed this? <laughs> Yeah, right? Face it, you used me. You saw the sexy clothes. Oh. Get it, get it, get it. Till someone gets hurt. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Not Ooh. bad. Nice. Mm -hmm. Feel my 
my heart bleeding. Oof. This is our self defense. I okay. You had the sense to see through that. Yeah. Damn. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Oof. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> These shots are great. But if you're going Ooh. Oh, he falling back in love with Regina. God damn it. Dang it. Oh, so people are always asking me. <laughs> Because it's from rejectnationshop.com. That's why. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. there we go. Back in the saddle again. And setting all this to music really does like amp up your, yeah, you know, investment in the moment. Like. This yes. is me. Was that Friday too? This is this is my vibe right here. Back. Oh no. Regina's a life ruiner. Yeah. Sixth grade, she told everybody that Janice. Damien! Oh, jeez. No, I know the story. You lit a fire because Regina got a boyfriend. She said, What? Uh oh. The truth will be told. Tell yes. us. Like great. all history, this is emotionally layered and culturally dense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Love it. Every history class should begin with that. Regina gave Janice a BFF set for her birthday. Janice put okay. a rainbow patch on hers. This is how she came out to her friend. And Regina put one on hers oh. too, out of allyship, because she used to be human. Oh my. Cut to eight months later, Regina becomes obsessed with this gross boy, Kyle. Ooh. One night, they were all playing spin the bottle, and Regina was worried that <laughs> Kyle liked Karen more. So, when she spun and oh, got no. Janice, Regina put on a little show. Oh, Christ. Oh. That's twisted. And Kyle was like, boom! And Regina was like, I knew she would let me. She's, like, obsessed with me. Wow. They got into a huge fight. Regina started avoiding Janice at school, but did she give back that plush animal? Oh, no. Oh, man. One day, in and Janice finally heard it. Sissy Liz was short for obsessed lesbian. Oh, yeah. Regina had been making fun of Janice this entire time, and everyone but her knew it. Wow. Janice took her Bunsen burner. Yup. And torched the doll. Yeah, great shot with the mask. Janice was kicked out of school for the remainder of the year. And the adults didn't know why. Janice just seemed crazy. Wow, it got me a bit emotional. Sad. <laughs> now you know Regina George is not your friend. We are your friends. Yeah. You know what friends Whoa. do? They got your back and they are fun to be around. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and grind your foe into the ground. Whoa. 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 Party with dresses and cake. Beautiful. I want to go what? to there. <laughs> Ribbon dancer. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a part. It's over there. Oh. Woo. With somebody's head on a spike. Ha. Caddy, in order for this to work, you need to act like a huge phony. Can you do it? Can you do it? <laughs> but you know what? I'm to tell you that she tried to talk to Aaron, but he just wanted her back, and that's not Regina's fault. Of course. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Perfect. Oh. On to phase two. <laughs> ah. I love them. Wow. <laughs> of course. Oh. Roll on the grass and stare up at the sun. Then we'll stuff her remains in a bag. Oh my God. Nice. I want that movie. And party. With your two best friends. And I Hey, girl. That was so fun. I end up with Aaron when she's gone. Yes, bitch. Whoa, yeah. Yes, yeah, queen. Low-key, I would be down if this turned into, like, Jennifer's body or, like, a Scream movie. Right. <laughs> like, if there did Me become too. murder. What's Regina doing? What's Regina wearing? Is she back with Aaron? Oh, no. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tim Meadows. I'm not having anything but calcium bars until I lose weight. I need to lose three pounds. How many calories from fat? Zero. Bring me a whole box. You should start network marketing. Ooh. Oh. oh. Rough. No. No. Hate to see it, but not really. Oh, oh girl. Christ. You can even play that off. She's just too hot. She's created a whole new, yep. Oh my 
good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whole school's having a goth face. <laughs> Nice long board, damn. Six weeks and all we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. <laughs> <laughs> if we can make Gretchen readers think that Regina is mad at her. No, no, no. Gretchen is fragile. Oh. We crack her open, maybe she'll spill something we can use. Him. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 oh god. <laughs> now what do you call that look in French? <laughs> Your hair looks so sexy, fish back. Ugh. Katie, would you please tell him that his hair looks sexy pushback? Your hair looks sexy pushback. God. She gets what she wants. Cruella. Damn. Might be thinking it's late, we should go, and they ran out of chips. Not the chips. No, I, I can't love even chips. Watch when Whoa. She touches his hair and I watch the snake eat a cow. <laughs> Sorry, Gretchen, I swear we'll get our party. Now. Yes. Oh, candy cane, please. <laughs> <laughs> candy cane, Grandpa Shane on it. Oh. One for Katie Heron. Four for Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. And. None for Gretchen Wiener spy. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, it's from. Wow. Thanks for being oh. such a great best friend. Oh. Oh no. The drama begins. She gave you those high heel shoes just to make fun of you because she knew you wouldn't be able to walk in them. Oh boy. She totally cheats on Aaron. Every Tuesday she says she has college prep. Oh no. But really, Girl. she's hooking up with Shane Omen in the third floor janitorial closet on the bags of sawdust that they use for barf. Oh jeez. Oh. I never told anyone because I am such a good friend. Christ. And I'm only telling you because you're such oh, a good oh, friend. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Sad. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Don't do it. Whoa. Oh. A party with revenge is what it's like. Mm. A party with revenge. Oh. <laughs> this is what it's like. Does it chainsaw at the very end? <laughs> <laughs> You failed your last five quizzes. Well, Aaron's tutoring me now. Let Aaron know that the weird thing with your quizzes is that all the work is right and only the answers are wrong. Ugh. Katie, I am not going to stop pushing you because I'm a pusher. <laughs> Choice of words. She was like, I'm a pusher, Katie. I'm a pusher. Like a drug pusher? <laughs> Let it all out, honey. Put it in the book. No. Oh, no. God, don't do no. it. No. Look at this <laughs> thing. It's I can't sexy. even see it. <laughs> a face breast. <laughs> a face breast. <laughs> Well, the skin stuff you gave me sucks. Where did you get it? Oh no. Love it so much. Yes. Yes. We love it. Uh, that was Damien Hubbard singing the <laughs> Bravo. theme song in French for extra credit. Excellent. <laughs> Is there an iCarly in joke happening here? Please welcome Kevin G and the Power Three. Kevin G? Oh, okay. Oh, boy. I'm a mad <laughs> Go, Mom. She's not clapping with the beat. I'm a Ooh. Rep. I'm a Get it. Under the sea. She be like, oh. oh, my God. Yeah, Good job, Mr. Kevin. Rap. I believe in you. That's right. God, why is it so tight? I mean, you've had it since the sixth grade. You're probably maturing. Ugh. Did you just like want to run the acro? Because none of us really does gymnastics anymore. When we made up this dance, we all weighed like 70 pounds. So maybe we should just make sure everyone's center of gravity. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. She's going to stab you. E. Karen, I can see your bra. It's on purpose. I'm going for a look. <laughs> There's a girl who slept with 11 people because you're nailing it. Oh, Ugh, rude. I think your top is fetch. Gretchen, <gasps> stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Oh, keep she fetching, is Gretchen. so not fetch. Oh. No. Sewing discord among the group. Oh, my God. 
Okay, oh drop it. Go, <laughs> mom. Go, mom. Get, Get up it. on the stage, mom. What is this, a Colleen Ballinger show? Oh! Yeah, does mom know about the whole odyssey you've gone on? <laughs> oh, what is. Oh, oh no! you did Christ. it. Oh. Whoa. What is it? Oh, God, no. Oh, no. No. No, what is it? What is showing? So I went to the Christmas show and it oh. was a mess, y'all. Regina ate total shit. So she just oh, fell on her face. Okay. I was so afraid something I like was, terrible happened. Oh, yeah, the me too. shit everywhere or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Regina got what she deserves. Ooh, Ooh rough. She's kind of hot. She might even be hot. Regina George. Oh, damn. Hot girls, we are going back red. <laughs> oh, damn. You're influencing okay. the culture, Caddy. Regina lost her hot boyfriend. She lost her status over everyone. She popped a blemish against the stage floor. That's rock bottom. <laughs> oh, man. We can stop. We're even. Finally, you don't have to talk to them anymore. We could finally have lunch together tomorrow. I'm getting dumplings. Delicious. I need one more lunch. Girl. Don't fly too close to the sun. She's doing it. I am worried for you. Oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Regina. You can't sit with us. <sighs> You're wearing sweatpants. It's Thursday. Whatever. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Yeah, because that vest was disgusting. Oh. You can't sit with us. All of this is an illusion. Sweatpants are all that fit me right now. What do you think, Katie? <laughs> think for the group. Sorry, Regina. Rules are rules. Fine. Oh. I like how they've switched <laughs> necklaces. Take a picture, losers. It'll last longer. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Not in this day and age. Don't say that. And that was the beginning of the mother. And <laughs> I just want them to narrate my life. In honor of Women's History Month, the cafeteria is offering vegan confident Joanne's, oh. which are sloppy joes made of beans. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds terrible. <laughs> no. Finally, the nominees for spring playing king and queen. God. King. Aaron Samuel, Christian Wiggins, and Shane Oman. The big three? What? Yes, please. The Queen, Regina, Regina George, George, Karen, Karen Shetty, Shetty, and, and Gretchen, Gretchen Wiggins. Same old, same old. And Caddy Heron. Oh, dang. Wait, my mistake. Oh. Katie. Katie Heron. Well done. You made it. Should I um, text Aaron and congratulate him? No. No. Hey, do you want to lift this weekend? Because Jamie's borrowing his grandma's jersey. Uh, I lift to what? Ooh. Shoot, I have tickets to this thing in Madison with my mom. I I I'm sorry. No! Ugh, bad friend. Forget so quickly where you came from. I have to go to this thing in Madison with my mom. Your mom is going away. You should have people over. No, I'm going with her. Well, if you have people over, you could invite Aaron. No. Yeah, I guess I could get out of it. No. Ugh, bad friend and bad daughter now. <laughs> I promised my friend Janice I'd go to her art show. Oh. Do you not want me to be a good friend? Yes, what? Uh, <laughs> you can uh, stay home on your own, I guess. I'm having a small get together at my house. Uh, my mom's away. Her pushed up. She's wearing the C on her necklace now. It's a whole, it's a whole other turn person. Ugh. Who are you, Caddy? Uh, you've lost yourself, Cat. Christ G. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, parkour. <laughs> Invite me to your party, but make it a rage party. Uh, rage party. Oh, my God. A rage room. You break everything. Rage party. Come wreck my home. Yeah. You miss Kenya? Well, I miss... I could see a lot more sky <gasps> there at night. My mom and I used to map the constellations. Acoustic guitar means she's vulnerable. Yeah. You still on the treadmill, honey? No, I'm over there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not feeling your best about your body right now, but remember that real beauty comes from the face. <laughs> Don't ever talk about my body. Don't eat and run. <laughs> Wait, honey, why are you eating Caltine bars? These are what we gave Nana Joan when we needed her to gain weight. Diabolique. Oh, oh, nice, like, horror zoom in. God, she looks evil in that. Like, oh, the oh, lighting. That's great. You should wear your hair however you want. I think it looks good both ways. 
think I've spent too much time being pissed at Regina. Yeah, you really have. No more liars. Oh, no. I would never lie to you. I mean, I did lie to you once. No. Oh, God. No. I pretended to be bad at math to get you to help me. Why wouldn't you just talk to me? Because of Regina, because you were her property. Her property? Shut up, not her property. Don't tell me to shut up. Oh, oh. This took a turn. You are oh. a clone of Regina. Oh. Truth. Facts, girl, facts. Aaron, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. No. Yep. Oh. You dirty little liar. Yep. No, I couldn't invite you. I, I have to act like I don't know you. Wow. Janice, I can't spend every minute with you. It's not my fault. You're like obsessed with me or something. Oh, oh God. dude, full circle. This is the problem with you plastics. You think everyone is obsessed with you when actually everybody hates you. You made me like this. Ugh. Buddy, it's not pretend. You are as plastic as they come. <laughs> I hate Regina's Ooh. son, but here's what you don't comprehend. At least she has the guts to not pretend to be my friend. Mm. Sneaking into the nice. song. Have this. Won an award. Janice. No, it's fine. Ooh. Yes. Go be fine. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh, that's awesome. What's beautiful? My name is Regina George, and I am a mess of you. Hey, it lands up with the carpet. Oh, you like me. No. Whoa. Oh, oh, damn. I wanna watch the world burn. I got the gasoline. Yeah. And everyone get me. Stop it, Harley Quinn. Oh. You don't know the power the book possesses. Yes, Harley. <laughs> but it, it's, it's the key. Begun. It's the key to setting them free, though. Can you tell me what you like? Turn and cough. Turn and cough. That's a little like, what? Oh, okay. Ouch. Has crabs. No. Rachel Hamilton fills her inhaler with vodka. What? No, 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 no. Ugh. Oh. Norbury is a sad old drug pusher. Oh. We're going to find out who did this. There's only three girls in the whole school who aren't in it. Man, though, you you had to have known something about her. You mean Hubbard is too good to function? That is only okay when I say it. Only Katie could have written it. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, no. Don't all flock together now. I am taking this burn book seriously. Now, who has something to say about this? Come on. Come clean. Sharon, you need to run this. Oh, come on. You need to prove whoever called you a drug pusher was just joking. Uh, okay, fine, but you are walking the dogs every morning for the rest of the week. What? Thank you. I love you. I love you, too. Are they together? I didn't know they were together. Aw, you two. I, I want everybody to close your eyes, and I want you to raise your hand if you have ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Neither of us, though, ever. Not once. This time, I want you to raise your hand if you have ever said something bad about a friend behind her back. <laughs> okay, we're going to write out some apologies to people that we've hurt in our lives. Make a hug book. Calling someone ugly is not going to make you better looking. Truth. And we, as women, have to be able to trust and support each other like this. Oh, my. Okay, that was good. That was really good. That could have really backfired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I laughed at you that time you got diarrhea on the Ferris wheel. And I'm sorry to the people who were below us. Ugh. Oh, oh <laughs> yes. Face forward. I'm sorry I said you were dragging during revenge party. <laughs> ah. Oh, I love that. Yes. Ah. Just being meta, moving along. I could make a cake made out of rainbow. And smile. Yeah, me too, girl, me here. too. <laughs> I'm here for a crack me. I just have a lot of feeling. Oh, do the trust fall. Come on, we're gonna. Oh, thank you. We're gonna oh, no yeah. trust fall for her. My friend and I thought it would be fun to mess up Regina George's life. So we got these candy bar things to make her gain weight. And we told her lard was face cream. <laughs> <laughs> We 
turned her best friends against her. Yeah, you all know my friend Katie. Oh. She got Regina's boyfriend to dump her! <laughs> Katie's actually just as selfish and phony as Regina George. Yeah. <laughs> so your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. <laughs> the world doesn't end, it just feels like it does. Just raise your yeah. right yeah. finger. There we go. Yeah, girl. I don't care. That's yes. right. Love it. So here's my uh. right fi finger. <laughs> Every asshole has opinions, but it doesn't make them true. True that. I'd rather be me than be with you. Why would you be me? Walk <laughs> away, turd. Ouch. I like this choice a lot. Let all that happen in the back. Yeah. Oh! oh! I completely forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. And that's how Regina George died. Again, no one died. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the rumor mill started going insane. Of course. Sad. Like, that's all I can say. Wow. <laughs> Heart. Uh, <laughs> Katie pushed her. I literally saw Katie push her jam. Whoa. Girls are made deranged by what's called hormones. Yep. Hormones. W. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. no. Oh god, dude, no. No. Professor Bro Code over here. <laughs> Existential crisis. Anyways, we're not sure who your substitute. I did it. I wrote that Ms. Norbury is a drug pusher and it's a lie. Whoa. Selfless act. Three weeks suspension. This is not who I know you to be. Yep. Mm. Go do your homework. Also, I need you to sign my calculus test because I'm failing. Yeesh. Hmm. Oh. Ah, the <laughs> world turns. Ugh. How many of these were brought by people who really care? <laughs> I guess you'll need this back to set an alarm for tomorrow. You only have one message. <laughs> Karen says, do not worry. I am still your friend. Oh, do not worry. I was thinking maybe I should go back to being homeschooled. It's too small, me and you. And I think you're learning things now that I don't know how to teach. Truth. Can you sit with me till I fall asleep? Aww. Oh, that's sweet. You know, when the police tore apart my house looking for imaginary heroin, I found this little calculator oh. that I thought I lost, so. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Thank you. But I know you didn't write that whole book yourself. Are you going to tell Mr. Duval who did? <laughs> Trying this new thing where I don't talk about people behind their backs. Getting hit by a bus seems like enough punishment. Uh -huh. Welcome back, nerd. <laughs> Will you be attending the spring fling this weekend? No, everyone hates me. Perfect, because I figured out a way for you to earn some extra credit. Mathletes. You ready to suit up and show off your uh, math squill? Yes. I'm trying to make squills happen. It's not going to happen. Jacob, <laughs> hey, PG-13, <Whoa. laughs> please. Yes. <laughs> uh. Okay, you got the squills. <laughs> Gibson nest. Whoa! What? Lindsay? Lindsay? Oh, my gosh. They just what a cameo. <laughs> Each right answer Oof. will be worth two points. The highest score at the end of 40 minutes of play wins. As always, no calculator. Question one. Two, three, four. Yeah. He's also counting. Determine the equation of the tangent line to the graph. The answer is B. Correct. Let's go. Please solve for X. X equals two. Incorrect. X is greater than the value of Y. Correct. Let's go math. <laughs> Love. I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. That grilled cheese life. Get that grilled <laughs> cheese, girl. A little oil on there. <laughs> A little, little crust. Nice and shiny. Let's go, Mathletes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's barely even noticeable. <laughs> Was that Bill Fagerbacki, her dad? Was that the voice of Patrick Starr? Dad from Jennifer's Body, which I wish this would become. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my mom. God. Mom. <laughs> mom. That. The slope is zero. Incorrect. The slope of the tangent line is four. Excellent. Get e. it, girl. We have a tie. In tie the event of a tie, we move into a one on one sudden death round where each team may choose their opponent. Ooh. All right. Who we choose and get in there, Caddy. We pick the girl. We pick, we pick the, the girl. girl. We pick the girl, too. Aww. 
Let's nice go, girls. Whatever, slut. <laughs> Please find the limit of this expression. Is that not on the mic? <laughs> the limit is negative one. That answer is incorrect. You know it. We have a winner. You got this, golf bird. Golf bird? <laughs> Why can't I remember anything about limits? Girl, you got that nolly. Bring it. Oh, you know more than you think you do. Sure. I'm stupid, but now I get it. I see the things that I missed. No, that's not the me that I am. The limit, it doesn't exist. The limit does not exist. <gasps> Our new state champions, the North Shore Mathletes. <laughs> Bradley Cooper hey. Limitless. Miss. Yeah, I'm supposed to hang with my fall back in there, but you know, if you want to slip out, meet my Jeep. <laughs> Jason. Ouch. I knew the whole time. No, we are done. Because you know what? I have a 140 IQ. Get it. Toned legs. And my yep. parents love me. Aw. Regret this when you're old because I am freaking fetch. Yes. Truth. Bring in it, girl. Fetch. I am fetch. You're a catch and catches must be fetched. Yes. Regina, you look pretty. I'm wearing a corrective neck collar. I still look pretty in a corrective neck collar. I'm sorry about the bus. I feel like it's all my fault. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not your fault. Okay, don't apologize for things that aren't. Bus driver's fault. I forgive you because I'm on a lot of pain medication right now. <laughs> my mom was really pumped to be on the news. <laughs> it's weird when people treat you like you're famous or something. It's amazing. <laughs> Until it's not. <clears throat> Look, I, I know I have to change. Oh. And it was harsh. And people say that I'm a bitch. That, so you know, harsh, Cher. Strong. Reginald. <laughs> Honestly, I would rather be bitch. <laughs> <laughs> than Reginald George. <laughs> I like you. But this medicine makes me like everyone. I like that she's got all these like bejeweled. Yeah, on the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. It's like nice necklace. The winner of the Spring Fleeing King is Shane Omen. Shane. Have you seen Janice? Every day since 2009. <laughs> but she doesn't want to see you. And your Spring Fleeing Queen. Damien, I'm, I'm really sorry. Katie Heron. Oh. Of course she is. Woo! Tell it to the world, girl. Where's Katie? Give it to your girl. I think people voted for me because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus. It's not your fault. A bus pushed me. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. What is my fault is the way I treated my friends. I used you and I lied to you and I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it's really not required for you to make a speech. <laughs> Almost done, I promise. The music's not playing yet, though. So. It just seems weird for one person to win this. <laughs> Especially in high school. I mean, it's just a chunk of plastic. You could just share it. Oh. Plastic don't shine, glitter don't shine, rhinestones don't shine the way you do. Aww. You are so rare. I see you there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I see stars. Yeah. You shine as bright as day. I will look out for you. <sighs> We'll light each other's way. Who is her date? She looks so familiar. Are you still mad at me? I don't know. Are you still an asshole? <laughs> well done. Arc completed. Ooh, guy, <laughs> yep. so good. Yeah. She really does. She got... does not go here. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> She's got so many feelings. She does track and she sings. Do you want to dance? Yeah. So cute. Congrats on winning state. The jacket looks uh, really good on you. No. Has a pocket inside for a calculator. Right. Yeah. Gruel. <laughs> Gruel. Uh, I can't stand it. It's so cute. Gruel. <gasps> ah! Yeah. I see stuff. Oh. <gasps> cute. Yay. Duval got wasted. <laughs> oh, they deserve it. The safe joy of dancing with theater boys. Hey. <laughs> the safe joy. I love that. We should all hope for. And everyone else just kind of floated. Yeah. Calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. And even the people you really don't like are still yeah. people who just want to coexist. Back to where we began. So get off. <laughs> yeah, PG 13. PG 13. Oh, Aww. that's great. Hell yeah. I love it. Hell yeah. Samantha, Samantha Jane, Jane and Arturo. I forget his last Jr. name already. But T Tina Fey on the script. Like, hey, Book hey. by Tina Fey. Lyrics. Okay. Oh, Rosalind Wiseman. Was that what inspired the original movie? I guess. 
Or did they <laughs> port in additional <laughs> oh, out of the chalice? <laughs> ah, this movie's so fun. I had such a blast like, with this. So much fun. Bill Kirsten, hats off too, because like the cinematography. Yes. I mean, that uh, is like my number one. Like the long shots in this were freaking amazing. Yeah. I'm in love with them. And those take so much freaking work. <laughs> oh. oh. It's okay. You'll get a new one. Cute. Aw. But yeah, like the way they they have the choreography of the dance and the ensemble, but they also have the camera choreography yeah. and choreography within the editing and stuff. And it's insane. Like, yeah, it's funny watching something go from film to stage musical back to film. Yes. And, you know, really feel like a great synthesis of both is, is so gratifying. I agree. I think they did like... Such a great job also on set design, especially during um Oh Oh, that was that was a Angory tough one. Rice yeah. is her name. I uh, always forget I want to call her Betty Brandt. That's Renee Rapp. Damn, okay. She's like Broadway, right? Yes. I know she got the friggin' pipes and it she, clearly yes, shows. She's got them. Oh uh, and what is this Megan? We got Megan on the verse. <laughs> Looking at herself. The googly eyes. He's so cute. <laughs> Jenna Fisher. We know good, you. Good, good mom. Busy Phillips. Holding it down, yeah. man. This is good casting for her, this too. This is great casting. Because at one point in time, she would have been, you know. A mean girl. In these, yeah, like a mean girl in this kind of movie. Is she in the craft? Busy Phillips in the craft, or am I mixing? Maybe. She's in like a ton of high school, like yeah. teen coming of age movies, though. Oh my goodness, golly gracious. That well, was so fun. That was a blast. I'm so glad we got to share right? that. That was a blast and a half. Like, shut up. Like, I, I also, like, that's what I was going to say. I love the set design in, in this, the playing with like the colors, especially during Party Revenge. That's my favorite. I want to live oh. there. All of those colors, they just oh. immediately make me happy. And I love how they play with the lights, especially when Regina gets in her, like, uh, where she's left alone, it all like turns red. Yeah. And I really like the way that they played with the lights in that, yeah. as well as throughout everything else. But to, to sync up a musical with like long shots like this, I mean, it's just like, I can't imagine. I'm so curious as to how long it would take them to do one of those shots. I realize, yes, yeah. there are probably hidden cuts in there, but those hidden cuts have to be like very obviously hidden where you have to go uh, against like a wall or against yeah, you have some to, like, sort a of wipe object. Or some kind. And and it's really hard to do like a morphing Where they're frame. not, yeah. Yeah. right? Where uh -huh. it's just them dancing and the camera is moving. I mean, there's one where they go from the cafeteria through the hallway all the way outside ah. for that one girl's song and they don't cut the entire time. And I have so, just so much respect for the cinematography in this and the direction and the way that they put it together. I'm like, hats off to you guys. Bravo. Hats off, absolutely. And hey, hats off to any of you guys who decide to give us five stars yes. or a positive rating on Let's Apple forget. or Spotify or wherever you might be listening to this. Five stars to the folks who made this video possible. Yeah. Hello, hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach enhanced with speech recognition technology makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 Babbel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babbel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I bask in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babbel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. 
Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited time. time deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions may apply. Join me, the Greg Alban, the adventure of language mastery at Babbel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. No, I, I completely agree. Like, there's so, so much here that I was just enthralled by you know like i i love a good musical i'm not an expert you know i haven't seen every stage production there is to see and i haven't seen every musical movie there is to see however i do love this format and this type of story and the you know amalgamation of arts and creativity that it can encompass and so yeah like oftentimes especially i, I feel like recently a lot of the musical movies and adaptations have been uh some of the bigger more momentous stuff where it's either really high concept or it's historical in some way right and and, and you know it's every time i'm watching these things they're little bits and pieces that I'm looking for. And this had so much of what I really enjoy because there was so much like real choreography and real thought going into both how the ensemble is moving, how the leads are moving, how the song is working into the scene, and then how the camera, the choreography of the blocking of all that stuff is accentuating it. And, you know, I've seen certain musical movies where, you know, I'm sitting there going like, come on, like, give me a wider shot. Like, yeah. I want to see the, I want to see everybody really, you know, throwing down on this and totally. really bringing it to life. And I thought, yeah, this had such a wonderful synthesis of again, it's got to be a movie and justify its moviness, but also it needs to be a rousing musical too. And I thought, yeah, the way that they started it out, yeah, with that sort of transitioning through different um, aspect ratios and different settings and locations, and the way that they used the visual style and language of you know high school and screens and yeah. you know the the constant chatter of social media just to intercut with things. Like I thought, this was just like a really polished piece you know yeah. like like metaphorically speaking i feel like i watched the movie version of somebody walking up on stage and just like nailing you know like a banger of a song with like a yeah. great belt you know there's nothing more satisfying than like seeing someone really hit the note and i felt like uh, that a lot during this yeah right yeah. like and and the thing is i was trying to think if i really would remember i do remember a song uh, the event party yeah. um because i i feel like i loved all of these songs and here my one thing that I was thinking was that the girls songs they're all in in a higher kind of like mid to upper soprano they all mm -hmm. have like an airy tone to them mm -hmm. and I kind of was like oh what if we played with more like bigger differences in between the character song because it all felt not all of it it all felt in this similar genre versus I was like oh it would have been really fun to see different genres with the different characters which we did with um him and the girl at the top they got like kind of a punky rock like I loved every yeah. time she sang because it's it was in a different kind of like lower register tone yeah. and cat and had a type of vibe great. versus the oh. rest of them um, oh. oh you could be really hot if you change like everything oh no Oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Damn, they're coming for us next, oh, Tara. Oh, my goodness. They're coming for us, Tara. Oh, my goodness. I'm scared. Oh, I am. I don't think I want it. I, I kind of want to see what they would make me into. Right? But, you know, I don't know Ooh. if it'll be good. I don't yeah. know if it'll be good. Just honestly. so that we could, like, take a picture of it mm -hmm. and then just, like, burn the picture right after. Yeah, because I didn't get to live this kind of experience. Me neither. You know, I lived on the fringe in the margins between social groups. Yeah, <laughs> in right? sort of weird catch-all place between, like, I can walk through a couple of these, a couple of these I'm not very welcome in. And, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, so, but, yeah, like, uh, too, just as a translation, like it's been a minute since either of us has been in high school i yeah. assume uh, i was there like last week it's john okay. i mean you, look yeah, at my face i'm so young Tara. jeez god to think that your parents dropped you off here to film today. i know right we gotta get you out before yet. what eight hours or something how long <laughs> I gotta go home are and legal see my minors homework. allowed to work <laughs> but uh no yeah uh uh we're, we're, we're <laughs> 
<laughs> too many yes ands to too, count. Too many me and John. Well, what I was saying before is mm. that some of the songs sounded similar a little bit to me, but I still really liked all of the songs. Uh, there was something that was happening in one or two of them. It reminded me of Frozen. I sure. My friends have kids and I, I was watching Frozen recently and I was like, oh, the tone and the song and a couple in here reminded me of Frozen. Mm. Uh, but... Uh, I, do, I was trying to think like, oh, if I thought of this movie, would I remember a song? And I do. The Revenge Party, which is good. Because if you remember one, then you're like, they got me. I feel like that's a part of, especially nowadays, that's kind of a big question mark. I am certainly kind of aware of in any musical experience is sort of how is the music complementing like the immediate moment? And then will I remember anything? Will these stand the test of time right. while I come out with a melody or something like that in my head. And yeah, Revenge Party, absolutely. And there were, and there were moments, you know, like throughout this where at least certain songs as bolstered by, again, the lighting or, you know, the, like there's the Halloween party mm -hmm. bit. And, and they do work in like a certain amount of modern song styling that you yes. know, veers into pop and, and R&B, hip hop, trap, things totally. of those kinds of sounds. It makes me wonder, to your point, uh, like if this had been made as a musical uh, like in an earlier era of time yeah, when there was a different landscape in terms of what genres of music were most popular, you might have heard, like if this was more in, in Meyer or our kind of general high school era, I feel like you would have had more of like, oh, here's a rock tune. Here's yeah, a, a hip hop tune. Here's an R&B tune. Here's yeah. a classic musical jazz number or something like that. Right. Um, and I don't begrudge this that. Like I think the unity of what it is makes sense for you know, for again, this. for this era and yes. for the fact that, yeah, there are high school kids were dealing with a certain social and aesthetic sphere, so to speak. And I think this did a nice job of, of you know, there's certain moments from the original movie that you have to honor. You have to go Glen Coco. You have to have the bus hitter. You have to, you know, have the burn book. You have to have, uh, you know, October 3rd and, and Wednesdays we were pink and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I thought they did a nice, you know, they, they checked those boxes with gusto and I think there are a couple things that didn't necessarily get ported over. So, you know, I, I like that they kind of picked and choose when to do that and uh, chose when to do that. And yeah, yeah, I feel like this to me, again, having not the greatest, you know, freshest recollection of the original movie's experience. This took the things I remember about that and what I remember being so great about that. And then, yeah, made just a really fun and co like it fully embraced the assignment. I agree. And that's what I had so much fun with is I thought everybody was on point. Like I thought um, Angry Rice was a great actor to portray both. I believe you as a mousy, shy, awkward girl. And then I also believe you when you've turned into the thing that you've been that sort of turned into. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, Renee Rapp killing it. Um, yeah. The incidental casting and having uh, uh, Tina Fey and Tim Meadows back is always a joy. Uh, Tim Meadows is a, is a treasure and no one plays like a dejected guy who's just trying to get through the day. Like yeah. Tim <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And just, yeah, like the casting of, um, oh, God, what are their names? Janice and uh, the, the two of them. Yeah, they're I so great. So they were much. my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our little shepherds through the movie, our narrators yeah. and, and her, great you chemistry. know, her two little good angel demon characters kind of guiding her along. And yeah. I and I like the way that it, uh, again, I don't remember exactly the way the original movie goes about articulating the theme but yeah the way they handled the sort of like well you know let's all look around and especially in a high school scenario yeah. it's not going to solve every problem subtextually speaking but in this case i thought it was nicely handled that they're that they did that you know look around how many of you have had something said about you behind your back now how many of you have done that exact yeah. same thing and watching them confront and deal with there was just so many things that I forgot were supposed to happen. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. The burn book has to come out. And this is going to unlock like a whole passage of the story. basically. Right. And the way they handled the real aspects along with the character story arcs that we know have to happen, along mm -hmm. with the music, along with, you know, the production of everything. I just thought everything was really nicely harmonized and pitched and, and you know, again, well-rounded. Like this yeah. felt really smooth. I agree. And like you were saying, like from the original movie, that was probably one scene that kind of came flying back to me was that when they all raised their hands and then threw the trust fall and they're like, okay. she doesn't yeah. even co go here, yes. which I think is just it's so funny. I mean, this the the original Mean Girl script is just is 
freaking hilarious. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that all of the punchlines and the jokes that were in that, as well as the heartfelt moments, like when she breaks the tiara, I'm like, that is such a good like writing move. Yeah. It's such a like, that's so smart. Like mm -hmm. I, I adore that about this script. And, and I love that that's how it ends because she doesn't need to say a lot of words during that speech. She could have said a lot more than just, I hurt my friends and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But it's the it's the metaphor of like her breaking that is breaking her old self, the crappy self that she became. And she even looks to the plastics and to her real friends when she's doing it. Mm -hmm. And as she hands that out, there's no real words needed. It's yeah. just her showing this is who I am and I forgot who I am along the way. Mm -hmm. And that's what brings her and the guy back together again without words. Yeah. He just sees her on stage. You can see it in his face of like, oh, this is kind of the girl that I think I knew when she first came in. She changed along the way. And again, we didn't need a big speech or a big conversation between them and her saying, sorry, it was just her actions that showed it. And I adore that because there's not a ton of exposition really in this film. Maybe it, sure, in some parts, but not really. It's it's more just way that showing feels, you, yeah, not the like way that like you down. get annoyed, right? Yeah. Which is really great. It, it just showed us that at the end, which you don't need a lot of word for. And I, I adore that mm -hmm. in a script. Like yeah. that's my favorite kind of thing. Yeah. Well, and I mean, you know, these are all made by people who are older than this age. So when something like this rings, feels spiritually like it's ringing some kind of true in terms yeah. of just how everybody talks to each other and delivers information and how stuff travels, because this is a, you know, the, the microcosm of a society for which, you know, word travels and there's double speak and right. people are always kind of do, conniving in one way or another based on social hierarchy or, or whatever it is. And right. so, yeah, it's like, you know, I thought they utilized all that to deliver information and also rouse, you know, emotion. Like I was uh, caught up in the joys of this in, you know, the more uh, bloodthirsty elements of this. And yeah. there were moments that got me a little bit misty eyed and, and got me kind of back into those shoes of of being, yeah, in a big, you know, social food chain and being, you know, nervous about your place in it. You know, I thought yeah. it, it, yeah, I thought it had a nice blend of sage hindsight, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but also, you know, paying, you know, genuine, uh, not respect, but just honoring that experience, you know, yeah. that everybody goes through. Like taking through you there degree. and yeah. making it, you feel it. Yeah. And I mean, the only, like, only minor nitpicks I would have is just like, you know, Jenna Fisher and John Hammer, great performance. I love seeing them. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, could have used a little, it would have been fun to see a little bit a little more, more of them. I agree. Um, especially because you have the whole, like, if you have sex, you will get pregnant and die thing yeah. from the original, which they, which might be an example of a joke that would be a little too much for, for today, for this or for the cut or whatever. Like, even thinking back on it now, I'm like, I don't know where I really would have put that and you don't really need to do it. Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, for the most part, uh, hats off. Like, this is kind of as, as the as good as I could have hoped for. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I don't know why on Amazon Prime it only has three stars. I I would thoroughly, love to know what the discourse on I, this is. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would love to know if maybe it's just people who maybe they don't like the music or I, I don't know, maybe they, they wanted everything from the script to come back and they didn't know it was going to be a musical. Mm. I have no idea. But the way that this, the, the set design, the lighting, the camera moves, like those shots take so much time. Yeah. Everyone was really, really good. I, I didn't ever for a second not believe an actor and you guys know yeah. i'm honest about that because yeah. coming from an actor standpoint i don't like it if i don't believe huh. someone and i really believed everyone in this like 100%. they did a great job casting a great job shooting this and i'm just like the the long shots in this are my favorite mm -hmm. and i had a lot of fun yeah i i would love to see more stuff that has the spirit and the the clear again embracing of the musical movie assignment as this does yeah i feel like this is again old hollywood musical used to be just like a prominent genre and i feel like now it's often Changed. yeah it's either got to be like it's got to be wonka or it's got to be some it's got to be les mis or cats right oh God. <laughs> or something like that and and granted this is based on a book and a movie and all sorts of and a stage but you know it's based on stuff but i loved the tradition that this was in as well as the way it articulated it for the here and now, <laughs> you know, yeah. like as far as a musical movie made in 2023 for, uh, I was so dazzled by again. Yeah. Just the amount of 
the, the amount they put the film styling into all the rest of the performing. Yeah, you God. Know? Yeah. I mean, that's so hard to do. It's mm-hmm. already number one, so freaking hard to make a movie. But to make it like that with that sort of aesthetic and the artistic quality when you talk about camera and rehearsals and people moving at the right time and swing arounds and then follow that person and make yeah. sure you have a focus puller and make sure like, this person's in focus. Choreography? And I mean, that is just, it's just a lot, you yeah. guys. It's a lot. You choreograph the actor, then you got to do the whole thing with the steady cam yeah. and figure the lights and shit. And if like, one yeah. person drops the line in that long Take shot, you got to go one. back to one, baby. And it's, that, I bet they had some long days on yes. here. And they even got meta in that one bit about like, we they, were dragging during yeah, Revenge during Party. That, I love <laughs> like, that. Yeah, they're like very much for theater kids, yeah. I think, in this movie. And I also <laughs> love like how it began in the garage with them is exactly where it ended. Yeah, perfect. And then that, that and closing the door shot of the door the is like, bravo, uh, man. Like the, the little details in this, I, <laughs> I adore. I mean, great, great job. Yeah. I don't know why it has three stars. I'd give it like four and a half because I had I had a blast. Like yeah. it's not perfect. There, my one little critique was like, oh, maybe I wanted one or two songs to be in there to be a little different, maybe with the girls. Mm-hmm. But I still really, uh, they all were still different. But they still caught me with things like even if the did. genres didn't vary as much, they would give a character a song I wasn't yeah. expecting, like the yeah. little Gretchen song in the closet with the box. I exactly. Was like, oh. or, I love or the that. Karen moment. Like, I love the Karen floats above everything and yeah. she does the Halloween world piece. song. Totally. Like, yeah. Even though there could be more sonic variation, I think they still made clever choices Absolutely. with the music and they had you know, people Skype. I, I think that must have been like people submitting footage. Right. Like, this just felt, yeah, like so joyous of spirit. Yeah. And yeah. like really thought out. I wonder if they storyboarded out this this whole thing, exactly to. how they were going to shoot it, because there are so many. There's just a lot of moving parts in this. Mm-hmm. And they did a really great job, especially with those transitions. You have to know ahead of time like how you're going to transition sure. different shots. Sure. And I'm, I'm so curious to know if they had sketched this or storyboarded out the, the whole thing prior to shooting it. But um, I, uh, I mean, I'm saying like seven and a half out of 10 on IMDb. I had a blast. I loved it. Oh, Great man. casting. Going eight, eight and a half, eight man. And a half. Get it. Get it. I'll go nine. Yeah, bro. Get it. <laughs> I, I, I don't, for joy. I mean, for, for just joy. pure joy, fun, it's like a right? 10. You know, if I have to get critical, you know, not, again, not a heap ton of stuff comes to mind. But, you know, it's a solid eight, I would solid. say, confidently for me. Yeah, you know? okay. I love that. Uh, I mean, I think that's it. I don't really have any other thoughts with this except that I had a blast, Aroni. I loved watching this. It was if they made so another gruel. one, I would be like, sign me up. Let's be in it. Like, let's please cast me. Yes. Cast a bitch. Cast a bitch. Come on now. Do you have anything else to say, John? Any last thoughts? Just that I want to hear the people's thoughts now. Yeah, right? You guys, gotta, don't forget to comment. Let us know what you thought. Tell us how cool we are. Don't forget to get your t-shirts at rejectnationshop.com. Um, we love you so much. We adore you. Leave all the comments to like, share all the things, and we will see you on the next one. Love you so much. Oh, the costumes Bye. were good too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>